very shortly. Right back on the water is Jade Mayfield, driver of Bad Alsatian. This is a Todd Leary owned boat from Tasmania, running a 410 cubic inch sprint car motor. Darren uh, Reg, beg your pardon, uh, Jade uh, regularly driving the LM Raceway six litre boat of, uh, of Grandpa uh, Charlie. But this weekend, driving the Tasmanian owned boat of Todd Leary. Boat running in the unlimited unblown class this weekend. We saw uh, Brent Lewis. We saw uh, Brent Lewis driving in the driveway uh, not too long ago. In uh, the new decision, from what I understand, uh, Brent will be running the six-litre engine of uh, Brother Craig this weekend in the decision boat. And once again, Pat Benici on the water also. Pat could be like... Uh, Pat could uh, be very similar to uh, Brandon. They're just out there testing props. <laughs> I got, I got Dave Meads behind me, one of the consummate Mercury racers, and he just said, "Go the Yammy." Oh, what's wrong with the guy? I've been drinking. Yeah, you've been drinking. You're not. <laughs> you shouldn't be nasty if you don't drink. If you're going to get nasty, Dave. <laughs> okay. Brandon Cropper, they're going through in Team Twenty Six. It does sound good. It does. I, I must say, it sounds really good, actually. Uh, Patrick Bonici. No relation to the Victorian Outball Club Bonicis. Or VSBC Bonicis. The Bonici brothers. Out of Bendigo. Anyway, he's not one of them, Linny. There's that bloke I was talking about before, Linny. Greggy Banks. And his beautiful wife, Bree. Hello, Breeze up. Raw wave. <laughs> but uh, I would say this is probably the sixth run for uh, Brandon on he, the water. He just loves driving boats, mate. He just thinks it's the duck's guts. I'm with him. So for those watching at home on live stream, look at the insert we've got. So when the two boats are a fair way from each other, we just got Brandon on the main screen there and um, Patrick on the small screen. So you get to uh, watch both boats go around, which is pretty cool. Checkered flag there for Brandon. It's amazing uh, what uh, technology is available. You know, uh, you'd remember also, Dave. Remember we put the the first uh, TV camera inside the the. Uh, Peter Williamson uh, Toyota Corolla at Bathurst <laughs> and, and how it stayed the art back that, in those days. Are you know? saying I'm old, Craig? <laughs> no, I didn't say that at all. <laughs> but you, yes, we, I do. We, yes. We, <laughs> so Paddy Benici just goes through and picks up the chequered flag as well. But yeah, the technology now is amazing, especially, like you say, onboard cameras. And for those of you that have been watching the National Drivers' Championship on Channel 7 uh, and Channel 7 Plus and Channel 7 Mate, um, some of the onboards have Okay, so <laughs> crew, crew Chief Blake Ramsey, too busy talking rubbish to the uh, 
chairman of the APVA to go out and time his brother. <laughs> So, uh, Tate Ramsey now jumping into the layered on machine, the 21 footer. So, this is all about determining what boat they're going to run this weekend in the championship. One of them's going to get parked up. Will it be this one? Will it be the blue boat? That looks very, very settled. Maybe not as quick as I'd like to see. See, you can put the power down. Very nice indeed. So up into turn number one, this is Tate Ramsey in the brand new lay it on machine. Sounds very strong, Brittany Drew Racing Engine in this particular boat. Now he's really starting to stab at it. A little bit of a chine walk out of the boat there and a little bit fluffy up into uh, turn one. But I tell you what, all in all, this boat looks pretty spectacular. He's really able to get the power down nicely. Just having a little bit of a chine walk, this boat, I noticed at top speed just over the cross washes. So check it flags out, so he'll do a cool down lap now. Tate Ramsey, lay it on. It's going to be very interesting to find out what type of lap time he's been doing. Pseudo crew chief here this weekend. Oh dear. That'll be a discussion with Tate at the end of this one. Blake Ramsey. Um, too busy talking to Kim Bull to go and time your brother, but you made it. Yeah, we did. We're um, we're a bit hectic there in the pits at the moment, but um, I snuck down just to get a little bit of footage and do a bit of research. Can you tell us a general feeling about both boats at this point in time? Obviously, you don't know after this run. Yeah, well, I think that the blue boat's, you know, it's tried and tested. It's a, it's a pretty quick thing. It gets around the track pretty well, and Tate knows it, you know, intimately. He's done a lot of... Great work again, brother. Cheers. Thank you for your support. OK, we've got the Odin 510 now. Ryan Constable hitting the water. The big twin turbo machine from... Well, these boys are local, about as local as it gets, Linny. There are concrete plants about three minutes from here. The Constable brothers, uh, formerly water ski racers. And uh, this boat, twin turbo. As we said, if it wasn't for a couple of reliability issues, this boat would have been well and truly further up the order. And... In my opinion, quite possibly one of the fastest boats. Well, it is one of the fastest boats, if not the fastest boat. However, Linny, what's going on down there? That sounds like it is off. Well and truly off. So that's a drama there for yeah. Ryan Constable in the Odin 510. Isn't it amazing? I talked to... <laughs> I'll put the commentator's curse. <laughs> Explicit, which is still going really well, but the other two boats, Bulldog and Odin... Those three boats were outstanding at uh, Dargo recently. Never stopped all weekend, gunnel to gunnel. 